Hey there, welcome to another episode of Car Talk with Karnik. I'm Nitin Karnik. Today is a Walk the Talk episode. And these days, the headlines are filled with stories of how countries are negotiating with their adversaries for a good cause. The release of hostages, extending ceasefires, and so on. Why is negotiating with our adversaries a good idea? This can help find common ground. This can help avoid escalation. And this can help lead to enhanced problem solving. How can this concept of negotiating with our adversaries help us in our work and personal lives? I'll give you two examples. Once at work, at my company, we had two critical products. Let's call them product A and product B. Our arch rival had a better product A than our product A, but we had a better product B than our competitor. The problem was many of our customers chose to get both product A and product B from the same company and they went with our competitor. To address this, we negotiated with our adversary. We formed an alliance, a standard, so that companies can purchase product A and product B from different vendors. The result was a significant increase in sales for our product B. I'll give you another personal example. Years ago, my landlord asked my family and me to vacate our rented home. The timing was terrible and we were extremely unhappy. And we could have decided to stay and make a nasty fight out of it. However, we decided to negotiate. I negotiated with my adversary and we agreed on an amicable parting of ways. And the result is even today, when we get mail addressed to us at our old address, he lets us know so that I can go pick it up. So there you have it folks. In the words of Nelson Mandela, to make peace with your enemy, you first have to work with your enemy. Then he becomes your partner. Armed with that knowledge, stay awesome my friends.